George, great to see you. And morning, you sat guys. down with the president. You talked about terror in the Middle East, specifically ISIS, and the direct threat that it could pose on the U.S. And the president conceded that it is a growing threat. He said this group, which is now acting in both Syria and Iraq, is gaining strength, uh, that its militants have become battle-hardened. And we know from Pierre's reporting that they want to attack the United States. They're developing new kinds of explosives. So that's led to some increased anxiety, especially around this July 4th holiday. You're also looking at some new developments on the border crisis as well. Breaking news overnight from the White House. You know, you've seen the surge of children from Central America across our border created a real humanitarian crisis. The White House is now going to ask Congress for $2 billion in emergency funding to deal with this crisis right now and increase powers to uh, allow them to deport these children more quickly back to their home countries. Now, this is going to cause some trouble for the president on the issue of immigration reform because he's getting pressed by advocates, immigration reform advocates to slow the deportation process of those immigrants who are already here. So he's caught in a bit of a vice right a now. Specifically yeah. sensitive topic given that we're talking about children. It was rare to see the president step out and tell these countries to keep your children out of our U.S. borders. There had been a lot of pressing for that. I asked him directly. It was the first time he said, don't send your children here. It's not a safe journey. And if they make it, they're going to be sent back. That was a clear message from the president followed on with this new request for funding today. A big topic that's coming up in the elections, mm -hmm. for sure. George, thank, thank you. Guys, thanks. And be sure to jo join George later on ABC's This Week.